Hello, my name is Brian Oski. And I'm Austin Morales, and you're watching Then Your Gamer On. And today we'll be continuing our E3 coverage with the Xbox and Bethesda Showcase. We have everything here, all 30 plus games that were talked about, and much, much more. Everything on Game Pass. Game Pass is looking really, really good right now. And we have it here to talk about. So let's dive on this recap and see what Xbox and Bethesda have to bring to the showcase. And as always, if you enjoyed this content, please like, subscribe, and bang that bell, because you know you want to. All right, so next we are going to move on to the big epic kahuna of the event thus far, mostly here. And that is the Xbox and Bethesda E3 Showcase. For the first time ever, we have Xbox and Bethesda joining forces. And one thing that I really liked about this showcase is that they open it up Normally, they open it up with, uh, um, what the, man, I was like, I had his name in my head, and now I'm like totally blanking on his name. The Phil Spencer. Phil Spencer. Phil Spencer. I was like, geez, why am I forgetting his name all of a sudden? Um, like, they usually open up Phil about? Spencer, right? You know what I mean? Like, he's always there. No, this time, who do they <laughs> open up with? Todd Howard. Todd Howard? What did he say? It's crazy. Um, he was just talking about their new partnership and everything and how they joined forces and he was very excited to be there and all the creative things that they're doing. And he went on to showcase none other than Starfield. Starfield. And one person is more excited than the other. <laughs> oh, are you not excited about this? No, I'm not excited. Really, this. man? You're like the Bethesda fanboy over here. Not after Fallout 76. <laughs> You've they, lost it. They have uh, gained a lot of ill will from many of the fans. I will say, though, Fallout 76 <laughs> actually had a trailer during this thing, and they announced that Steel Rain expansion that's coming to it for free on July 7th, and it actually looks pretty... Like I'm, I feel like Fallout 76 has like, kind of redeemed itself a little bit now. I mean, it's not something that I'm ever going to go back to. I don't think you will either, but it's like it's kind of... <clears throat> it's not a No Man's Sky success story, but it definitely seems to have really kind of come full circle and kind of picked up the pieces where it broke. And it's got like, there's a lot of story stuff in here. They have the whole factions yes. thing going on that yeah. they ha didn't have before. So that's kind of say, yes, that is, it did seem more entertaining than the last time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, but it's a little bit too late. Yeah. To, or too little too late. Yeah. Well, we did but get yeah, confirmed. Yeah. For Starfield is that yeah. it launches November 11, 2022, and it is officially exclusive to Xbox and PC and will be oh. on Game Pass on day one, which Boom. is awesome. So I get to play it. Yes. And one of the things all really we know cool is all we know is that you're tra traveling the war the space and that's it. It's a sci fi RPG. The game looks really good. What I mean, I don't know if that was like <coughs> real graphics or whatnot, but it yeah. I feel like it had to be because. It doesn't what? look like it's full CG. Like it doesn't look. It's not good enough to be CG. Basically, is what I'm saying. Oh, I feel I like see, I see. it looked like it was in game okay, stuff. Okay, yeah. Because yeah, I know yeah, that they've yeah. been working on a new engine for this. So it, or they were working on a new engine for this. So it should be a new engine. And if it is, it it looks good for a game engine. It doesn't look good if it's a CG trailer. Um, but I think it might be more of the former. But uh, yeah, I can see that. Yeah. I can see that. I heard that. Todd Howard said that this game is a mix between Skyrim and a Han Solo simulator. That's what I've heard. What that means, I don't know. So but, the Outer Worlds. <laughs> yeah, kind of, which I'm excited to talk about that later. But yeah. so Starfield, November 11, 2022. <laughs> Next up, we got um, Stalker, Stalker 2. Stalker 2, man. Yeah, dude, that looked pretty sick. It looks scary, so I'm not going to play it, but it looked pretty cool. Man, the, the, the level of detail here is awesome like right. i guess that part where um uh this guy standing over a building talking about some person and like man it is obviously 4k hd all the way oh yeah and i'm excited to play this because i didn't get to play the first one even though the first one they said was not that great um had a lot of bugs and issues with it yeah and my computer could not handle it so um i'm excited to play this and i, I want to like know what this is all about yeah, I feel like they've come a long way now. This one, especially with Xbox backing in and stuff like that, I feel like it's probably <clears> oh, be yeah. pretty solid. But I agree. But I yeah, agree. no, it, it looked incredible. I mean, the the whole like the guys talking around the fire and stuff like that, and then that part where that dude was like dancing inside that old war torn building and stuff like that it was just there was a lot of cool 
heart to it in a way. But then oh, like yeah. scary shit that like was super scary. I was like, no, nah, that's I'm out. I'm done. What I'm curious is are they gonna have it uh dubbed in English? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm sure. Cause I'm gonna I'm gonna need that. <laughs> yeah. I hope so. I hope so. Um but it's coming out April twenty second or twenty eighth of twenty twenty two. So that's not too far away. No, it's not. And like mostly everything's coming out next year. Yeah. Um, I was excited about this contraband game, but they didn't show anything. So that was kind they of didn't bummer. show anything. Yeah, but it is four player co op. Damn, that's cool. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, but it's like, what is it? <laughs> yeah, well, it's from Avalanche too. So like, I'm kind of excited to have an Avalanche game because they're the ones that do Just Cause. So I'm excited right. to have an Avalanche game in co op. And yeah, I okay, that would is. be that would be awesome. Yeah. So, but nothing more to be said about that until they actually like give us some <clears> gameplay and stuff like that. But we jumping back in a sea of thieves. We jumping back yes. in uh, Pirates yeah. Life for me. This is Captain finally Jack Sparrow. The first trailer that like really tickled my itch, dude. Like yeah. I've been waiting for something, and now that we have this like really awesome Pirates of the Caribbean story, which I hope there's going to be cinematics in, it and looks like there we is. get to go out and like actually fight some villains, like real like enemies instead of just these freaking skulls. Thank God for Disney. I'm sure they gave uh, Xbox a little cast infusion for this, but yeah, like an actual. This is this is the game I've been waiting for for Sea of Thieves. What's even crazier is it comes out in eight days. I know. <laughs> like what are we right gonna do? Oh, wait. We're gonna play it. <laughs> yeah. No, I was I was very very happy to see this. See some Jack Sparrow come in, like some familiar faces. Yeah. Um, see uh, Davy Jones and stuff, right? Davy Jones, that's his name. Yep, yep, Davy Jones. He showed up in there. I mean, there's there's a lot of really cool stuff happening. I'm just curious to know how long it's going to be because they're like it's an epic original story. But is this like a two or three hour experience? Is this like is this going to be like six or seven hours? I assume it'd be kind of like the Tall Tales. So I don't know how long those I were never, for. I never beat many of those. I we know, yeah, because they took forever. We had to get yeah. out. <laughs> crazy but no that was that was really <coughs> breath good on xbox and rare to pull that out seriously um, honestly everything from this showcase as we go down this list 27 of the 30 games that they announce here are coming are on game pass and will be day one on game pass and like they like i feel like they've gone to the point where game pass is a no-brainer like you have to have yeah. this because there's there's yeah. Now that they got Bethesda on board with Starfield coming to it and all these other games that are coming later on, like this whole lineup, like they gave us release dates or release windows, which was kind of, you know, nice to see. Every single one of them had some kind of like release window or something with the next two years. And they're all coming on Game Pass. I'm like, damn, it's impressive. Yeah. No, it really is. Yeah. And, you know, I, the other day I was thinking, go ahead. I was going to say, then I was like, yeah, because Like a Dragon's on Game Pass now. I'm pissed off. I could have got it for free. <laughs> Granted, I love that game, but it's uh, like, son of a bitch. Yeah. No, I just, I, I, I was thinking the other day, like, man, I haven't played anything on Game Pass. I need to just, like, cancel it or something. But then, like, stuff like this happens. I'm like, okay, I got to keep my Game Pass. I just got to keep it. Yeah. I don't well, play it. Some of them, like, I probably play it one month and then take a month off, you know, and then, yeah. which is fine, I guess. I, mean, I feel like if you definitely like just pull it up once a month, there's going to be one thing in there that's like, I mean, if you didn't buy any game ever and just like open up Game Pass every month, there would be something in there <laughs> worth like wasting away your time every month. Yeah. To keep yeah. it going. So that was cool. And then we got our Battlefield 2042 trailer. Gameplay. Oh, thank you. Finally. Thank you. But we're not going to talk about that. We're going to talk about that later because oh, that's our discussion no. topic. So stay tuned for that. Let's keep listening to us. It's coming. Um, 12 minutes comes out August 19th, which I mean, not much to be said about that other than I can't wait to play it. William Defoe, James McAvoy, James McAvoy, I mean, Daisy like, Ridley, fuck yeah, 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 and William Defoe. Like, I what is this game? And it all happens in 12 minutes, right? So, like, you keep yeah. reliving stuff and you gotta loops, figure yeah. things, yeah, like, what the fuck, yeah, great look, concept for a game, yeah, it looks really good. I think it's gonna be, it's gonna be a a hit for sure in the any space. Oh yeah. Um, it's Annapurna. I mean, they've, I've, they've never done Remy wrong. I've been all about their games for a while. So it'll be great. I totally agree. Yeah. And then, uh, Psychonauts two. Okay. And moving on. Yeah. Psychonauts um, two actually looks really cool. Like I was, I was kind of impressed with that, that trailer, but it's going to August 25th 
final lane. It's another so um, date. Is it another Ratchet and Clank? Uh, not you think? quite, probably, but I mean, it's you know, it's uh, uh, what's his face? Um, gosh, I'm forgetting everybody's names today, man. Um, <laughs> it's one of those days, man. I know what the hell. It's crazy, but I don't know. It, it looks cool, but I yeah. I don't know if it's gonna be a ra- ratchet and clank per se, but it could be. You never know. <clears throat> could blow our minds, you know. Yeah, that's true. Bring some there. Uh, what, what the fuck is their studios called? Oh my god, I forget. Oh, never mind. I give up. I forget. I'm my brain's broken right now. Um, <laughs> then they want to talk about thirty Bethesda games are now on Game Pass. So like, there's a shit ton on Game Pass. So yeah, you know, there you go. Uh, and then Party Animal. Did you see? Did you what? did you watch this thing? <laughs> Yes, I is thought this just a copy of. It's like Gang Beast. I thought they were gonna just be like, "Oh, it's Gang Beast," and but it's not. But it's like literally just Gang Beast. It's done over again. Literally Gang Beast. But like I mean, this it, is a straight ripoff. Yeah. Unless because I, I thought they were gonna be like, "Well, Gang Beast is now Party Animals" or something like that. Unless it is the studio, I hope it is because that'd be great. Yeah, I'm kind of curious now to fun. see. Uh, let's find out. Something's Recreate wrong here. Games is doing Party Animals. Mm. I don't know what to think about that. And Gang Beast is published by Bone Leaf. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's super weird. It definitely looks like the same. I mean, it looks Very really weird. cool, but it's like it's basically Gang Beast. But with yeah, more stuff that's to do. sad. I um, mean, I'm sure it'll be fun, but probably skip it. Yeah. No, we're definitely gonna play this. We'll be playing their friends. Don't worry, it'll it'll happen. <laughs> coming all soon right, right. to a TV near you. All right, Hades is coming to Xbox, so that's cool. So you can jump up into Hades <clears> on <throat> August thirteenth, and then uh, we got some Halo Infinite news. Finally, finally, um, it's still this is what bothers me. It's like yeah. Halo Infinite. Tell me, we got me. we got the we got another campaign video trailer thingy. Really it was like more like dark, a campaign elusive, teaser. Campaign with teaser. No, no cohesive, like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. like I want Very them, little. Yeah, it's like, I want them to give me, here is your story. And it sounds like, I mean, it's basically just Master Chief and this new Cortana, whatever her name is, are going to be, like, trying to do something. That's, like, what I <laughs> Save got. Save the world it. again. Yeah, and that was really, really throwing me off. And it does look a lot better graphically. Like I've, I've, no- yeah. I've noticed some differences in it, which is cool. Um, well, okay, yeah. yeah. If we're gonna compare the the last story trailer to this trailer, like I like where it's going. It's a lot more serious. Um, still don't know what the fuck's going on, <laughs> but I mean, I trust uh, Mr. Statham. So yeah. But hey, here's the thing. Nice thing about this is we're living in a world of Game Pass. So if it's yep. a hot pile of garbage, we didn't just spend seventy dollars and five hundred dollars on a brand new console. That's true. Like we did with the last Halo. Because that's true. God, a what a waste of, of money. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so that's a much better experience for sure. But uh, I mean, the trailer for their their multiplayer gameplay wasn't too bad, and it's you know, there, there's a blood gulch. Uh, throwback map. Uh, oh, it's not throwback, but it's you know living in the same vein of it that. Looks like it, yeah. Carrying that forward, and you know, I'm, I'd be excited to play multiplayer again, just depending on how they're taking it, because they don't show any monetizations yet. No, they and, did come out and say there's no microtransactions. <clears throat> really? Okay. Yeah. Well, or no. No. Sorry. Take that back. No loot boxes. Correction. Oh, there may be microtransactions, so be. but no loot boxes. Yeah, I can um, see the microtransactions. As long as it's not like you got to get those cards and you got to play more to get more cards to spawn stuff in. Oh God, that whole thing was just ridiculous. Yeah. Um, but yeah. okay, so they said it still has holiday twenty twenty one Halo Infinite's coming. See, that's the thing that pissed me off. I'm I like, think I'm like fuck you, Xbox. Give me my, a freaking release date. My prediction might still hold true. They might push it to the first quarter of 2022 dude man. if they do that i I'm was thinking so pissed i was thinking i was like man look they got all this stuff and then like yeah they get no date no date yet okay so i went yeah. to gamestop today and got ratchet and clink uh this is monday so yesterday and uh i was talking to a guy there and i was telling him about the whole halo thing he's like yeah like they he's like he, he was thinking they don't want to hold they, they don't want what happened last year to happen yeah. again so they're being very ambiguous about it. But at this point, they shouldn't be that 
ambiguous. Like they shouldn't be right. that worried. They get another year. It should year. be right. This it should no be Cyberpunk ready to go. Hey man. Yeah. But who knows? They Could can't be. have that happen. No. So I, I wonder, I wonder if they would release the multiplayer because it's free to play ahead of the campaign. Well, that's what I talked about last time when you mentioned that it was going to be delayed. I was like, well, they should release at least not, if nothing else, a beta of the multiplayer so people can like play right. it and get their hands on it. And now that it is, yeah, confirmed free to play, that seems more and more obvious to be able to do. But it's like, I feel like the multiplayer should be require more work than that of the campaign at this point because I feel like they've been working on the campaign forever. Well, I don't they, know. They're redoing it. I, when oh, they yeah, brought that's... Joseph Tatum on, like they're redoing it, man. I don't know. That's crazy. We'll see, but it is interesting yeah. that they are ba- they're basically offering it as a split product now because the Halo Infinite. Right. I mean, if you have Game Pass, you just get it. But like Halo, Halo Infinite multiplayer is free, whether or not you have Game Pass, so it's just free to play, um, right. which is cool. Um, and it does look good. I mean, what they showed of the multiplayer. I mean, I'm excited that they didn't announce any like battle royale bullshit because I don't really want. I don't. I mean, I know that they talked about battle royale for Halo, but now the more I thought about it, I was like, I kind of want to just have like a badass Halo game that's like next generation looks really good fun to play I like the grappling hook situation how that adds some maneuverability which everything apparently now has a grappling hook in the game but, yeah surprisingly uh, I do like that yeah that seemed to work pretty well I like the part where like the dudes were flying around he like freaking has a I don't know how he got it but like a plasma sword came in his hand he like stabbed a guy right in front of him and it seemed like there's a lot of mobility in the multiplayer which I appreciate um, so I could get down with it. Yeah, me too. Yeah. So fingers crossed. It's it's good and doesn't <coughs> fall flat on its face and whatever. We'll see. We'll see yeah. where it goes. I guess there's no like co op with the Halo Infinite multi or single player. They haven't really said anything about that. Because you know, you used to be like you could play it split screen and stuff like that with your friends. And that was awesome. Oh yeah. I think they got rid of that already. Yeah, I think that's dead and gone. But yeah. No. Um so yeah, Halo Infinite. And then uh, we then had uh, Plague Tale Requiem sequel to the Plague Tale Innocence. Pretty sweet. Are you excited about that, Austin? Uh, yeah. I got to finish the other one. Oh, you have finished it yet? I thought you finished I didn't it already. Finish it. I didn't get to finish it. I'm sorry. Well, you have until next year because we don't know when it's know. coming out, but it's coming out next year. I'm so excited. Um, yeah. I forgot to mention also Diablo 2 Resurrected is coming out on September 23rd. They had a trailer of that, which is cool. So that is there. And then Far Cry 6 is going to, it's not on here, but Far Cry 6 is day one on Game Pass. Done. Done deal. I'm down with that. Yeah. Uh, Shredders. Let's talk about that for a second. <laughs> no, don't, game. Brett. Don't. Fuck yeah. <laughs> don't Count do me it. In. We're going to play this game. It's going to be on Game Pass December 2021. At least I think it is. Hell yeah. Cannot wait. It's going to be bomb. Bomb diggity. Uh, Atomic Heart, cool. I don't remember much. Yeah, about that I still one. want to know what that is. I don't know. They didn't really give us much here, did they? I mean, it looks cool, but I'm like, what? What do you? What is it? Yeah, I know. We, like, we keep seeing this stuff, and it's just really, really weird, crazy physics weird. and shit. And I'm like, what yeah. is happening? Ultimate alternate reality past Soviet Union, Soviet Union that has the internet and other technologies. I feel like this game is going to look really cool and then it's going to come out and it's going to be like a B game. Like that's just what it's going to come to be. It's not going to be anything like fantastic. It's just going to be like a B rated game and people are going to be like, it's really buggy and terrible. And that is that. Yeah. All right. So replace, we got to talk about replace for a second. Okay. Because talk to me. this well, actually, before is, you tell me, no, yeah, tell, okay. tell me and then I'll tell you what my thoughts were. Cause I wrote down <clears> notes. Oh yeah, like I'm really excited about this game because I'm all about this like really high fidelity. Uh, what do you even call it? Like a 16 bit, 32 bit. No, it's got to sure. be 16 bit. Like art style with like super high graphics, or you have all these uh, light shadow or shafts and god rays and bloom effects and depth of field of foreground background. I freaking love it. And um, is this the same creator who got his game canceled? For the Xbox One, I don't. I'm know. trying to find it because there's a guy who was creating a game just like this, 
and it was canceled because of cancel culture. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm try- I, like, I just can't find the name of it. Because it was an indie game. I don't remember. Because it's funny, be. like, its name is replaced because it got replaced. Oh, yeah. That'd be interesting. <laughs> I was like, that's that's a little funny. I can't remember. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I can't either. find it either. But was it Revolt? The, yeah. the notes that I had about this one when I watched it was that the art style looked amazing and it had a really badass soundtrack. Whatever they had playing in the background was awesome and I loved it. Oh, yeah. It just was like really trippy, cool sounds, foreboding. And then at the end, it turned into like some freaking like, like freaking 80s sounding like something or another. I don't know. It was really cool. Oh, yeah. No, dude, I love it. Like, I cannot wait to get my hand on it. Yeah. I will play that game for sure. Reminds me of uh, what's that game we played that was really good? Katana Zero. Yeah. 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 Very awesome. Uh, Awesome. So then we move on down to. Oh, shit. I accidentally closed my article here. Oh, my God. What did I do? I lost everything. Um, Grounded. We get. I will talk about that one. Um, I didn't know they added all this extra stuff to it before this update, but on June 30th, they're adding the Shroom and Doom update with all that sitting pets and mushrooms and a broodmother boss big giant scary ass spider inside of a big huge dungeon hole and i didn't like that it scared me no Not you gonna fan. turn on arachnophobia yeah still scared me it's like no don't don't do that to me but i, I don't know like would you jump back into this we haven't played this game in a while mm, but i don't no, know if it's something I'm, that we'd be interested in doing i'm pretty much done with it i think okay cool well sadly well screw you too Okay, screw me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I forgot this is the one where they like officially showcased the focus on the 15-player lobbies for Among Us, but there was that, uh, which we talked about earlier. So very cool. Uh, Uden Chronicles, eh, whatever. Not really too excited about that one, but we have the Ascent, which is coming out on July 29th, and it is for Game Pass. As per usual, everything's on Game Pass. It looks pretty cool. It's got an isometric view. I- I can get into that. Yeah. Hey, it's co-op too. We should we could team up together and play. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, release date. Well, actually, I think we already had what had it for this one, but October twenty eighth, Age of Empires four. It's coming. Day one on Game Pass. Fuck yeah. Obviously, got to have that. Oh so, yeah. We'll I'm excited that. about that. I, I'm ready to jump back into Age of Empires. This is the one. Hell yeah. Cannot wait. And what I'm really excited about is next up on our list here. This was okay. Now, actually, I take that back. No, I'm not. No, I'm not taking it back. I thought they couldn't outdo themselves with their first trailer, <laughs> where they like just shat on Fallout after knowing that Fallout needed to be shat on. Now yeah. it's funny how they're now under the same studio heads with Microsoft and shit like that. But <clears throat> Obsidian decides to come out with a trailer, and this trailer—that's not a trailer. <laughs> it's not a trailer. <laughs> it was fucking amazing. I was like, dude. They they like totally like took the whole idea of all these things that people do. Actually, it's probably even poking fun so, at freaking uh, 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 Bethesda last year when they did that whole reveal trailer of like title screen of Starfield and Elder Scrolls, but didn't have anything yeah. to show. Right. Yeah, I bet that is a big poke of fun at. So there's a narrator narrating the shots that are going on, and it's like at the end, it's like really nothing's been created but this title, and it's like the other worlds too. And I was like, this is. Fucking amazing! I love it. <laughs> like I don't even care that it, they probably don't have a game or anything. Like that, that was just beautiful. Yeah, freaking yeah. beautiful geniuses. It was, so it was. Yeah, it cracked me up. But I just wrote down it's a hilarious reveal trailer with no gameplay. But it's like, <laughs> yeah, the narrator is gonna show this beautiful land that's gonna be disrupted by something, and then it smashes on the ground. And then there's these cool slow mo shots that will increase pre order sales, but really means nothing else to the game. <laughs> and then after all of this, they've been working so hard to show and reveal that all they really have only worked on up to this point is the title. It's like, oh my god. <laughs> This shit is so good. Uh, anyway. I didn't even think about them shit on uh, Bethesda, but 
Hey, that's, it, it I wouldn't be surprised. Sense. It makes sense. <laughs> and then like every other company out there. I mean, like Metroid Prime did it and all this stuff. It's like, oh, yeah. Let's yeah. do a title trailer. It's funny. Let's do a title trailer. Um, so um, there's two other games here we can just skip past. Uh, on to Redfall. No, um, fuck that. Talk okay, about that. Okay, so Flight Simulator <laughs> has got uh, freaking prop planes and Top Gun expansions coming out too. You can uh, do fighter jets. Looks freaking awesome. Cannot wait for that. So, yeah, check out the world. And it's coming on Xbox, I, I, so you can get it on Xbox. But, no, this is this is probably my favorite thing. I don't give a shit about anything else that they announced at E3, except for Forza Horizon 5 is announced. And my prediction was almost 100% spot on until they announced the release date of November 9th. But that's okay, because it looks freaking gorgeous. And it, it looks does. freaking fun. Oh I mean, God. I didn't think they could push graphics any farther. And I mean, they're really not pushing it that much farther. But damn, does all of those photorealistic assets look photorealistic? Yeah. I was like, just like shocked when they were showing yeah, those, yeah. like, the freaking rainforest <laughs> and the weather effects. And like, they have sandstorms and shit in there. I mean, it looks really, really good. I can't wait to play it. And I love the, the whole, um, all the the new things that you can do because that's what's so cool about Forest Horizon is like you can really do whatever the hell you want with friends. Now I just need to find friends that'll play with me, but right. um, it's it's got I mean it's open world, tons of activities. I mean it really is kind of like a test drive unlimited. You know, I mean in a lot of ways because there's it's an open world experience. You drive around all the place, you meet up with people. You can like literally just like do like emotes to talk to each other to say like hey let's start a race. You can have five of you just drive around the city and the world and just like explore and check out new landmarks and go to different places and then find just races as you go. Um, there's a lot to do in this game. And like the last one I was just, I mean, I played probably 25, 30 hours of it and didn't even touch the surface of what was in there. And this one definitely looks to be the same or more. And the environments just look really, really cool. Um, I like it better than the last one, which was in uh, England. Uh, which was nice, but this one you have the really beautiful coastlines, and you have like desert areas, which is nice, and like the this the Mexican heritage that they're bringing in here with the art and stuff like that. that they were trying to you know pull inspiration from and like actually include real artists from Mexico in the game. I thought that was really a neat touch to capture this whole environment, and I cannot wait for this game. And it's on Game Pass, and I kind of want to buy an Xbox Series X just to have this game. What? Yeah. Because I like playing on the console, man. That's where it's at. Man, you're crazy. I know. But <clears throat> that's man. awesome. But there's one more thing. Yes. Austin, I'll let you talk about this one. Okay. There is a game. Four-player co-op. And you get to slay things with guns. And everyone's a person of color. <laughs> <laughs> and the enemies are vampires with powers and they fly around and they do crazy shit and it actually looks fun. This is a great end to their little press conference here and uh, are there uh, trailer videos montage thing and I, I've, I loved it man. I actually am excited for it and I hope they come up with the demo for it. I think we can get into this. Yeah. This but maybe is, that's just me. You tell is, me. No, this is a big get for I mean Microsoft like did good with buying Bethesda. Like, yeah, yeah. They now were able to start and end their conference with two big original IPs from Bethesda to yeah. say these are Xbox exclusive. And this is what we've been talking about the whole time. They need exclusives on Xbox. And now they got them. I mean, obviously, we have the PC, which is great. But right. it's like they, they were able to secure that. And like, this game does re- look really cool. I mean, I love the. It kind of had some Left 4 Dead vibes for a little bit, but then they introduced the vampires, and I was like, that's pretty badass. And then all the powers that you can do were really cool. Um, this game is called Redfall. I don't, we actually didn't mention that, but this game is called oh, Redfall. Oh, yeah, Redfall. Uh, it's developed by Arcane Austin, so this is the team that did yeah. Prey and the original, like, they worked on the early Dishonored. Um, so that's really awesome to see, and it comes out in summer of 2022. But the co-op part, awesome. Love that. Can't wait. Yeah. It's going to be sweet. The trailer was funny and uh, campy, but in a good way. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. A lot of good humor. I, I feel they're, they're trying to do their, their own Left for Dead, I feel like. Yeah, basically. With, but with, you know, instead of zombies, it's vampires. Yeah. Who probably have like 
zombie minions. I don't know. Yeah. And the whole like design and stuff like that reminds me a lot of Stranger Things. I know it's like yes. red and stuff like that, but it's got like yes. that. It has kind of a little bit of that eighties vibe to it. Yeah. Um, which I thought was really cool. It's got a it's got, kinda like Deathloop. I mean, it's got character. Arcane knows how to build games that have like a really cool personality. Right. Um but Dishonored and then well, pray not so much, but Dishonored and now this game and then their uh Deathloop and stuff like that. Like they definitely have a lot of a lot of character to them. So Yeah. Oh yeah. Pretty sick, man. Pretty sick. 